Guys, real quick, you guys are about to watch a video where we put a brand new Vortex Spark Solar on top of this Weatherby SA459. We're gonna mount it up for you, go sight it in, and we're getting ready to go on a pretty big turkey hunt. We're going to South Dakota, go chase some birds with our good buddy Luke from Weatherby, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. First video of that series will be up tomorrow. Hopefully you've been enjoying Brian's turkey hunt so far. Real quick, we just wanted to mention as well, if you guys have not got your name entered in the hat to win, our ultimate New Mexico elk hunt giveaway experience. Yes, that's the long name, but that's all of what it is. You're gonna to wanna to do that. So every dollar you spend at our store right now until the 23rd of May, you will get your name in the hat one time. We just dropped a bunch of new hats, a bunch of hoodies. There's a bunch of shirts. There's a bunch of all of our Hush merchandises on the store. Go and shop, get your name entered, and hopefully you're gonna be hunting elk with us in October in New Mexico. Anyways, enjoy the video, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready for springtime. It is turkey hunting season right around the corner. So we are getting my brand new Weatherby SA459 ready for the turkey woods. We have here a brand new Spark Solar Red Dot from Vortex. This Red Dot is brand new this year. You can mount it on, uh, Logan mounted it on his AR. I'm gonna mount it on this shotgun. A little bit about the Spark, this has auto detect technology. It detects light conditions to automatically draw power from solar or battery as needed to extend battery life. It also has motion activation, so it will turn on when it, act, when it senses motion. It's fully multi-coated, there's a bunch of cool things to it, but what's crazy about this little thing is battery life with the solar on top will last upwards of 100,000 plus hours. I don't know if we'll put that to the test, but pretty incredible. Super small unit. Uh, it mounts easily to a Picatelli rail, which I have here on the Weatherby. And so we're gonna mount it up, uh, make sure it looks good, and then we're gonna go sight this gun in and get ready for uh, a big old Tom Turkey to come strutting by us. All right, so all we're gonna do is loosen up those two bolts. It comes with uh, the necessary tools to do that. So we're just gonna mount it on the Picatinny rail, like so. And so I'm gonna place that on there, but before I tighten it down, I wanna get behind the gun Make sure I can see through it clearly. It looks good. I don't need to move it forward or backwards any. So if I'm set up with my back on a tree, it looks pretty good right there. You can see through it clearly. Well, what I like to do when I put a scope on is I just like to close my eyes, get behind the gun, put my head where I'd, where I'd place it before a shot, and then I just open my eyes and make sure that's exactly where I'd want it. it looks pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna tighten these two bolts down. Like I said, once again, with the necessary tool that it comes with. All right, she's tightened down correctly. Also, I think it's noted that it comes with a riser, so if you want it a little higher up, you can get it higher up. Um, I put it on here earlier and I felt like it didn't need a riser, but that would rise it up just over an inch it looks like. So it does come with that if you need it. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. Now all we're gonna do is go to the range and uh, shoot it and get it dialed in. What I like to do, uh, especially when I'm setting in my, my gun for turkeys every year, is I like to shoot it at different distances, obviously. You know, I start at upwards of 10 yards, shoot it, to see just exactly where we're hitting, um, and then move out to like 40 yards would be the maximum distance I would shoot a turkey at. And so it's just good to know where your gun's hitting, and then we can change this if we need it. Let's go to the range. Presto, we're there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, folks at home, folks at home, how are we doing? We are up at the range now. We got the uh, new Vortex Spark mounted upon the Weatherby, um, and we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna zero it in and see where it's shooting at, and if we need to, we'll, we'll um, adjust. But uh, I've been hearing some good things about this new Federal TSS um, shotgun ammo. Good buddy, Steve Brunello, on the cover. But yeah, it's supposed to be really good turkey shots. Interesting because it's 12 gauge, three inch, but it's actually three different sizes of shot. Five, six, and seven shot. So I'm, we're lucky that they even had some because as you know, finding any ammunition right now is next to impossible, but they allowed us to buy two boxes a piece. So we're gonna shoot this stuff, see where it's shooting at. We're gonna start at 20. And then I was asking Logan, like ideally, 
what what yardage would you want that thing zeroed at? Would it be 20? I would say uh, like 30. Maybe in the middle, because I mean, we're gonna shoot birds from anywhere from point blank to 40 yards. So I think a 30 would be a good round number to a zero it in and then just know where it hits it like 20 and, and uh, 40. So I'm gonna grab the, the sandbag and the shotgun, see what we can do. I had my hand like this too. It punched myself in the lip. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you're bleeding. How are we looking? I'd say at 20 yards, I think it's super deadly. I mean, you're wow. aiming right here, right? Yeah, right there. Look at it. Let's move it back to 30 and see what we can do. You're next. <laughs> Dude, they're shooting big loads like that and any shotgun, man, it's, it hurts. Definitely hurts. You're supposed to use the pistol grip, though. <laughs> I tried. Logan went like that instead. <laughs> All right, so we moved it to 30. 30. I think that's, I think we'll shoot at 30 and if it's on, I mean, just think about it. Like the way we're gonna be hunting turkeys is we're gonna be decoying them. And so uh, I don't think we'll shoot much further than 20 to 30 at the most, so. I think uh, I think another notable mark too is once we threw that bad boy on, turned the red dot on, you could still see the bead underneath and it was like perfectly straight. Yeah. As soon as I put it on yesterday, we looked through it, and man, it looked like it was lined up perfectly with the BB, just a little higher, obviously. But at 20, it's dead on. So we'll try 30. We'll see 30 and see what it does. I'm just gonna aim right at its head at 30, um, directly at its head, and see where it goes. Not bad. That <laughs> <It> hurt like <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> That's dead turkey. That's right where I was aiming. That's a lot of BBs. That's over 15 in the head. So one thing I noticed is I don't have a lot. I mean, there's a few down low, a bunch up high. I could still probably aim right down here. Yeah. But dude, look at that. I aimed right here. It looks like that's the majority of the dead shot. Head, yeah. I'm I'm impressed, man, with the gun and that ammunition and the scope. We literally threw it on, made sure it looked good, had a good clear sight window, and uh, 20 and 30, it's money. I think that's all we're gonna shoot today. <laughs> you wanna shoot it again? Dude, shooting turkey loads, man, that's rough. Thing is that when you're out turkey hunting, you never notice it. No. When you no. shoot, it's like I shoot at a bird, you're like, sweet. Sweet? Heck yeah. Well, that's successful. Yeah, guys, if you haven't checked it out, the new Vortex Spark Solar just came out this year. Um, like I was saying, when we put it on there, it has over 100,000 hours for the battery because of the little solar panel that sits on top of it. Uh, super easy, like you can put it on an AR, you can put it on a shotgun, obviously. Do you put it on a pistol? With anything with a Picatinny anything rail. Anything with a P Picatinny rail, you can or put it on there. Picatelli rail. I was calling it Picatelli rail <laughs> yesterday, so. Uh, yeah, super cool. If you, haven't, if you guys haven't checked out, if you're looking for a red dot scope, I'd, I would highly recommend the uh, Vortex Spark Solar. Mm. Let's go kill some turkeys.